one is on ratio problems involving totals. So up to this point, we've just done ratio problems, but we haven't had a total, Isaac. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a box, and this time your box, instead of just doing two rows, you're going to do three. So draw three rows, like that. Okay, and as usual, this is our ratio side. And what is this one? Actual count. Actual count. I'm just going to put AC like that. Actual count and ratio. All right, now, this are the two things that we are comparing. Girls to boys, dogs to cats, whatever we're doing. This is total. This is what we're adding today. Y'all haven't learned to do yet. Okay? <laughs> so, here's an example. We're doing parents and children. The ratio of parents to children, parents to children, the ratio of parents to children at the picnic was five parents to four children. Five to four. Okay, obviously that was our ratio, five to four. If there were 27 picnickers, <laughs> picnickers, that's actually a word, I guess, picnickers. If there were 27 picnickers, how many of them were children? So what did they give us the actual count for? How many parents there were? Children? Picnickers. Okay, so there were 27. Now, we've never done this before. Okay, but then what's the question about? How many of them are children? This is the question that we're trying to figure out. Do they wanna know how many parents were there? Nope. Okay, just a minute, Isaac. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to add five plus four and it's gonna give us nine. nine. <laughs> okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a row that you know everything about. I know the answer to my ratio and I know my answer to my actual count. Now, did I have to come up with my ratio? I had to figure that out, didn't I? Even though it wasn't given to me, I had to figure it out, okay? But I know everything now. Does everybody get that? Then we take one that we don't know anything about and the question they're asking us to. I'm not even gonna use this one or even find it because they're not asking us to know that one. Okay, so Isaac, remember there is an easy way that we can figure out what is the function? Nine gets to 27 by doing what, Isaac? Divided. Well, well divide, you could divide the other way. Nine. Nine, times? nine times three. Three, so times three is our function, kind of. Okay, this is not how the book teaches it. Okay, but this is the easiest way to come up with this. I'll show you how the book teaches in just a minute. So times three is our function. So nine times three is 27. So guess what? Times three here, I'm gonna times three here. So how many children are there? 12. 12, excellent job. Now, and we can kind of just figure out on our own, 27 total, 12 of them are children, so 12 minus 27 would give us 15. They don't ever ask, ask this, so you actually don't even have to answer it, okay? Um, if they do ask, you, of course, I have to answer it, okay? That is the way the book, Leslie teaches it, okay? Now, the way the book teaches it is by using proportions. You're not always going to be able to do 9 goes into 27. What if this said 28? You couldn't have just figured out an easy function, could you have? Uh -uh. Okay, so when you come to a problem that you can't just figure out nine times what equals this, here's what you have to do. I'm gonna put a C back here because we don't know it. What you have to do is take a row that you know everything about and then take the row that you want to know about. Do we even need this row? No. no. When you're making proportions, you need at least two rows. I've got my two rows. Okay, and you pretty much do exactly how you see it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna write it over here because it cuts off right here. Um, four over nine, okay, equals C over 28. 
Okay? Everybody see how I did that? Pretty simple. Okay, and now we cross multiply. Remember how we did that? So I would go 28 times 4 equals 9 times C. Okay, 28 times 4 is 112. So this is going to become 28 times 4, 112. So now this says 9 times what equals 112. How am I going to answer that? 9 to 112. 9, 9 will go into 112. 9 times what? So 9 times what equals 112. Now clearly this is not going to come out evenly because I created the problem, not the math book. Okay? Usually when math people create problems, um, they, they make it to where it comes out even unless they're wanting a problem that doesn't come out even. But they would want one here. Okay? So 9 will go into 11 one time. 9 will go into 22. Two times. Two times, thank you. And we would end up getting four. Okay, clearly, we're not going to have 12 children um, and then four parts of the 12 <laughs> <laughs> remaining. That would become a problem, okay? So, does everybody understand how to do the problem? I know it's not going to come out even, okay? So, if you had that, what would you do? 12? It, it'll come out even. Okay. Yeah. Will there ever it's, be a problem? It's not because I'm do, I made up the numbers. Will there ever be a problem that's like that? Do you have to like I'm not sure. Let's see if this next one does. Okay, let's do this next one and see how it comes out. Everybody draw your box again. Three rows. Again. Whoever's talk, talk, talking, I need you to hush. Ratio. <laughs> Actual count. And let's see what we're comparing. The ratio of football players to band members. Football, band, total. All right. So everybody help me out here. You fill it out on your paper. The ratio of football players to band members was two to five. Two to five. Altogether, there were 175 football players and band members. Where's that going to go? Altogether, total actual count. There were 175. Then it says, how many football players were on the field? Football is what we're trying to figure out. Now, do we even need the band? The only reason we need it is to answer what our total is. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Now do we need the band? No, because the band doesn't matter now because they're not even asking us a question about the band. Okay? So now, can you figure out 7 will go into 175? Very easy. No, so what should we do? We should use the proportion method, not the function method or Leslie method, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to put, you need a row that has everything answered, and then you need a row that asks the question that we're trying to figure out. And I'm going to put an F right here for our letter to try to figure out, okay? So now you're just going to write it like normal. How will I write it? Tell me uh, how to write it. Oh, uh, I just, um... You have questions. Seven times 25 equals You figured it out? Yeah. Okay, so she figured out seven times 25. So the function would be times 25 on all these, okay? But I want to do it, let's pretend like we didn't know, okay? Because I want to teach you this way. Because that one's easy to do, uh, the function method, okay? So here we go. What you're going to do is take 2 over 7. And the reason why I cross this out, because it helps me see very clearly which two rows I need to work with. Okay? Because you can only have two rows when you're doing a proportion. So 2 over 7 equals F over 175. Does everybody understand that you can use any letter right there? N, X, W, P, it doesn't matter. So we're using F for football. All right. Then you cross multiply. 7 times F equals 175 times 2. I'm going to go ahead and work that problem. Let's see. 350. Duh. Sorry. I just had a, a moment there. Okay. 
So I knew that 175 was 350. Okay. So now this is seven times what equals 350. So 350 divided by seven, because seven times what equals 350. And the answer, we know. What would we put here? 50. 50. It's 50. It's 50. Did you say 25? Well, it times 25. Oh, okay. But sorry, sorry. Yeah. Would be 50. Okay, so we're going to put a 5 here because 7 times 5 is 35. Get a 0. Bring down the 0. 7 will go into 0. 0 times. Got it? So, how many football players were there? 50. 50. And just to help us, I mean, just because we want to. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> how many band players do we have? 125. 125. I just subtracted 175 from 50. I did not have to answer this, and you don't need to. On your test or anything. Yes? Could you divide 7 into 175? I got 25. That's what she did. Yes, you can. And you can use the function method. Okay? If it comes out even, they're not always going to. Okay, that was it. How do we know which two to do? 